Well, hello, and thanks for joining Off the Stone Knife Sharpening. I wanted to address one of the hardest parts to sharpen on a knife, which is this curved area and tip. When it comes to sharpening knives, it can already be hard enough if you're trying to sharpen by hand on a whetstone. And oftentimes I hear people complaining about their tip not being sharp, but everything below it is fine. By the end of this video, you'll know how to address this issue. Let me show you what is probably happening if you're struggling to sharpen the belly or the tip of your knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a single stroke method when I show you this. With the single stroke method, you literally are going to hit the whole edge of the knife in one swipe. What I'll make sure I do is lock my wrist so I keep that same angle. So that was heel to tip. I'm going to do this again and one thing I want you to look for is the knife edge on the stone. And if you watch, if I lock my wrist and just keep the same angle, watch what happens when I get up to the belly of the knife. Watch closely. What's happening is once I get down to the belly, if I just keep the same angle there, I'm going to end up having a huge gap between the knife edge and the stone. So the reason that the knife isn't getting sharpened up here is it's not even touching the stone. And you may not realize it. The way to compensate for this is you raise the knife back here up once you get around to this curved area. So what I'll do is I'll drag the knife across the stone. And once I start to see that's where the belly's starting, I'm going to start raising the knife slowly to hit all of that belly and the tip. Now you can sharpen like this and there are many great sharpeners that do the single stroke method, but I want to show you something that I think is going to be a little bit easier for you because one issue that I see with especially beginner sharpener trying to sharpen like this and hit that belly perfectly is you might be thinking, well, how much do I lift up and when? Because this part of the belly and this part of the belly need to be elevated at different positions. So to try and hit that in one solid swoop perfectly is going to be very difficult. I'll change the camera angle and show you a different way. The way to fix this is to use the push and pull method, which is sharpening like this. Basically, you're just applying pressure on the knife edge with these two fingers incrementally. And if you struggle to find the angle to sharpen the knife at, I just made a recent video that I'll put in the description that shows a very quick and effective way to find it. So what I'm doing is making sure the absolute tip of the knife is touching the stone. And I'm going to push and pull back for a little while. So maybe 8 to 10 strokes, and a stroke would be pushing and pulling back. So do about 8 to 10 strokes, and what you'll notice is I have the tip of the knife on the stone, but the rest of this belly isn't getting touched. And that's okay, because what we're going to do is focus on the next part of the belly. And all I'm going to do is just lower that knife a little bit until I can tell that that part of the knife edge is on the stone. And I'm going to start working on that part now. All right, so now I've focused on this area. Now I'm going to go down here. I notice that there's a gap still here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower until that gap is gone. Once I feel that the knife edge is on the stone where my fingers are, I'm going to sharpen that part as well. All right, now I'm almost getting to the part where the knife is pretty straight. So I'm going to lower it a little bit more. Once you see there's no gap between the edge of the knife and the stone, you're good. And now I'm pretty much home free where I can just go the rest of the knife edge. That's the technique. Start with the absolute tip. But you're going to have this knife elevated, as you can see I have it, and you're just going to lower it slightly every time you get to another part of the belly until you've hit the whole belly perfectly. I think it's a much easier way to sharpen rather than trying to hit this in one single swipe. It's possible and you can do it. So whatever works best for you, definitely go with. 
But I think this technique is a little bit easier, especially if you're a beginner. If you're still wondering after you do this technique, if you're actually hitting the tip, the main thing you're going to want to feel for is a burr. And if you feel a burr evenly across this belly and at the tip, then you've done it correctly. And right now, I do have a burr all right there. That's how you'll know for sure that you've actually been hitting this whole area correctly. Well, I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing if you've been doing that with my videos. I really appreciate that. And we'll see you next time.